Hi there. I want to. I'm going to go through a little Christmas thing I made, which is for controlling strips of LEDs. I'm just going to get rid of this cap. I'll try and put him somewhere where he's not interfering with the video. There we go. Now, so what I've got here is a little um, board, and this board is for controlling the the lights. There's a little uh, seven segment display here for for showing you the like when I adjust the potentiometers to show give a readout here of what value they're set to. There's four buttons for controlling the programming of the lights. There's a processor 80 mega 328p for um, for actually driving the lights. There's some shift registers here for driving the L seven segment display. There's an LM 317 t um, low dropout regulator there for powering this section of the board. The rest is on 5 volts. You've got a jack here for input, a uh, little LED that lights up to show that there's power coming in. There's a terminal block here which um, has got the power, ground and data connection. And there's a four potentiometers for controlling the system. Now I'm going to just plug this in and turn it on. And by default it goes into user mode when I plug it in. So this is now in user mode and what you can see is that on the display it shows the it shows whatever knob I turn it will it will show the the value that I'm selecting there so then I can select a value that's very bright so what I'm going to do is just hide that from view so that you can see the um, just the strip and the cat now what I can do in user mode is um try not to touch the bottom of this thing. <laughs> what I actually do in user mode is first of all change the colour of this first first LED there. I don't know if you can just about see that. What I'll do is I'll make the block bigger because I can control the length of the block like this with one of the potentiometers just by changing this potentiometer. And um I make the block a bit bigger and then I can change the colour by adjusting the the RGB values. So if I want it to be completely blue, I'll turn blue up and turn the other two down. It looks more purple on this screen, but if I want it to be completely red, I can turn red up and turn the other two down. And then once I've selected a length of the block I want, I hit uh, this button here, and then I can actually move that block along. So you see I'm now moving just that block along. When I've got it where I want, I press enter, and then I go on to the next uh, next block and so say I want a green block for example then I'll create a green block, hit enter and move that block along to where I want it, let's put it here next block change the colour uh, I don't know, what could we have yellow let's make a yellow block and it'll be quite big, let's make it that big and then I'll just move this block along to here, this corner piece. So like going that way you can construct whatever kind of lighting regime you want for the for the room and adjust the uh values to suit you know to really suit whatever it is you're after. So I'll move this one around to here. So that's um in um programming mode. Uh, in addition to programming mode, I can cycle through different modes by hitting this button here. So here is a mode, for example, called um, what do I call this? Scan, I think, or chase, where it effectively just chases along a different color each um, each time and changes every time it gets to the end. It chases along another color. Another mode on there is called. Um, This one is just called uh, switch or something. <laughs> just switches random randomly to new colours every now and again. I've got oh, that's the programs mode. Chase. This one's called scatter. So this uh, just randomly selects a colour and then kind of fills it fills it in fills in the whole strip randomly. But it doesn't necessarily fill in the whole strip because it might select the same pixel again. And once it's done like about one and a half times the amount 
of pixels on the strip, it will change color and do that again. So it kind of gradually changes color by changing it one pixel at a time. You can still see we've got kind of green pixel left over from last time because it's randomly selecting the pixels to change. So it creates quite an interesting pattern. This one is quite an interesting one and this one is called Stack, or I've called it Stack, and it builds up a, um, a kind of red and green pattern, like a Christmassy type pattern. And so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to build up a, a whole bunch of these programs on their different modes so that the user, um, my wife, <laughs> or anyone else who happens to come to the house can select what mode they want and mess around. What I'll probably do is make it so in certain modes as well the potentiometers can be used to change various parameters of that mode to make it a bit more interactive and interesting. I might even program a game. I was thinking you could have a sort of one-dimensional snake game Although that wouldn't really be that interesting because it would it wouldn't be a game. It would just you would just keep growing. The snake would keep growing. Um, what you could do is have a game where what I was thinking is a, a, a pixel could light up somewhere in the um, in on the strip, and then you have to use the potentiometer to, to to try and move that to 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 get to that pixel to like go on top of that pixel, and then. Um, and then it will, the pixel will appear somewhere somewhere else, and you have to get, do that ten times in a row, and it times you or something like that. You know, so see how quickly you can use the potentiometer to actually track pixels around. Yeah, maybe that could be a game. I uh, just wanted to leave this running because I think it's funny when it gets to the end because obviously this is getting quicker each time as it's sending more and more um, <laughs> pixels around uh, because the distance is getting shorter, and it, like at the end it goes completely bonkers when it fills up there we go and then it just resets on that mode okay that's a quick tour of my little program and my little board and just to show you on the back of the board um, if this thing will ever focus there we go this was all hand soldered on perf board which took me a hell of a long time uh, I might make a little board for this a little PCB I don't know okay cool thanks for listening hope you enjoyed observing that